my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. As you can tell, I am currently in the kids' playroom right now. It is a disaster. This is how it looks every single morning. I'll show you really quick. Um, I try to pick up right before bed, but most of the time, you know, we don't get very far. So, this is what it looks like normally first thing in the morning. Besides these movies laying on the floor, I'm currently going through all of our movies and deciding which ones to keep and which ones to go ahead and get rid of. Um, this is our the kids version of our movie selection. Chad has his own movie uh, collection downstairs but this is all the kids movies or the movies that I like to watch while I'm upstairs in the playroom and these are the ones I'm thinking about getting rid of but that takes us to what this video is actually about and why this box is sitting here in the middle of the floor. I'm going to be going through all of my kids toys and just stuffed animals, movies, everything and getting rid of everything they don't need, they don't play with. Um, just stuff that's cluttering up because obviously it is December and well it's actually November right now but it's November 27th and I'm pre-filming this for you guys but anyways Christmas is right around the corner and so is both of my kids birthday January 4th and January 9th is their birthday so lots of presents are about to be introduced to this house and to the kids and honestly we just don't have room for anything without it just I mean we have room, I guess, but I just don't want it to be a cluttered mess. And they don't ever play with any of these toys, so I just decided I'm going to go through and get rid of a lot of things. we got um, a ton of boxes outside in the hallway, but I brought one in, and then I have a Tupperware bin that I'm going to bring in as well. That, um, oh, I'm getting sidetracked because Maverick's like playing in the floor right here. But, anyway, so I'm going to have a box for Goodwill and then a box of things that maybe just they're not ready to play with quite yet so i'm going to take them downstairs into the basement and put them in storage or i've been thinking about doing that toy rotation thing so i'll put like half the toys in this bin and bring it out in a few months and just change out the toys every once in a while so that way they don't get bored of everything too quickly and i already do that with the books their books like this is only like one fourth of their books i change them out all the time but I'm going to go ahead, I'll probably keep all those books there. I'm just going to reorganize everything. And I just want to clean up this whole area because it is, I mean, it kind of, when it's actually clean, it actually looks organized and stuff, but it's not. Like these bins are so unorganized and just packed full of stuff um, that they never really play with. Aubrey just likes pulling the bin out and dumping everything in the floor and playing with a couple things and that's it. So I just want to go through everything. This would be a really, really great thing for your kids to do if they're old enough. I would say about four and up. They'll be able to understand what they want and what they don't want anymore and understand donating toys to less fortunate families um, or Goodwill or anything like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have one box that goes to Goodwill. Um, and then like new items, things that are still in boxes and stuff like that, we are going to be donating to our church. They're doing like a little toy, not toy drive because they don't have to be new toys, but if they're like new toys, then they're taking them and giving them to families that doesn't necessarily have the funds or ability to go out and buy brand new expensive gifts for young children every year. So we are going to be doing that and that way if you do this like with your three, four, five year olds, you know, older children, make them go through their toys and teach them how to donate and stuff. It, it just shows them how to care for other people and that they're very fortunate and some other people are not as fortunate and it's really nice just to help other families out when you can. That is what I'm trying to teach both of my kids at a very young age. That's what my mom did to me, with me. She made me go through my toys multiple times a year to donate either to Goodwill or local families that needed them. And it definitely taught me how to care for other people. I do um, still to this day do something with the Levine's Children's Hospital every single year. I, I mean, I just don't want to get onto all that. But it does teach you to care for other people. And I think that's a wonderful trait to teach your children. And it's something that helps you out too. By them going through your going through their toys it's decluttering your house and you're not having to do it just get your kids to do it but my kids are still very young obviously if i had aubrey try to help me go through her toys she would just want to keep everything and start playing with everything that i would stick in a box so she is at daycare i had to wait till she went to daycare to do this um i do have maverick with me obviously i always have maverick but um he's just gonna play around in the corner he'll be fine he won't be dragging things out of my box hopefully he won't be 
he was eating a muffin and he can he got it all over the floor but you just gonna eat your muffins and we are watching elf the christmas movie so let's go ahead and get started because it's probably gonna be a very long video of just me <laughs> cleaning this area so i'm gonna start off with this area over here and then i'll move over to these shelves and the stuffed animals we never play with stuffed animals so most of those are probably gonna be gone and i'm gonna put all of aubrey's little babies up there because she has so many of these these are only like one third of her babies the rest of them are in her room um just because we run out of room for them and then we have a few that are up here so I definitely want to get rid of all those, or at least 90% of those. Um, and then what else? Oh, and then this closet over here is just packed full. Like it goes, the closet goes all the way back to there. And um, there, it just has a ton of toys that we got when Aubrey was a newborn. And they're for probably five, six year olds. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them, for most of them, because it's just no need to keep it for another four years just so she can play with it one day. So I'm going to go through the, all that as well, but let's go ahead and get started. or bring in another box. a lot of gifts and stuff for Aubrey for Christmas um, instead of actually wrapping this uh, wrapping these gifts 
on Christmas Eve um, night. I plan on coming up to the playroom and setting up her kitchen because we're going to be putting her kitchen in this corner right here. That's why I've emptied everything out over here. Um, and then she's getting a lot of new baby items. So we got the baby, um, what is this, the pack and play. She's got the crib, the high chair, and all that good stuff. So, and then also an ironing board. I don't really know why. I found it at Goodwill and I thought it was really freaking adorable. So I got her this ironing board. But, um, so all this, or a lot of the stuff that's in the closet, in this closet, well, the goal is to, for everything that's in there is just stuff I don't want Aubrey and Maverick to get to. So, like, the Christmas gifts and then there's these um, two drawer, like, plastic drawer sets. And that's all their homeschooling stuff because I will be homeschooling once Aubrey reaches, like, four, I think, four or five. Um, she'll be starting preschool with me. Um, she'll still be going, probably, like, up until she's four, she'll probably still be going to daycare three days a week. But currently, um, yeah, the goal is to homeschool eventually. Yeah, so I'm not going to be dragging everything out of the closet. I'm just like leaning in there and bringing one bin out at a time. I think I got two more bins in there and then the rest of it's just this baby stuff and I'm not going to drag all that out. But I just want to let you guys know that that is where I had a lot of my kids um, Christmas gifts instead of wrapping them. Now all the other Christmas gifts that are for other kids and for other family members and Chad and all that good stuff, they are downstairs in the basement in Chad's main cave. He has like two walk-in um, closets and I use one of those closets just for uh, Christmas gifts and I will show you guys all that in my Christmas um, Christmas gift wrapping video I think if I do I don't know yet because I've already wrapped most of the gifts like most of the kids gifts but I might still show you like how I hide their stuff so that nobody finds it and the good part about that is we have a place when Aubrey is at the age where she's going to look for the Christmas gifts we still have a place to hide all the presents without her being able to find them of these medium sized boxes from Walmart filled up with stuff for Goodwill. I've already closed these two up. These two I cannot get closed so I've got to figure that out. And then I'm also donating this little pony. Aubrey likes it but she just doesn't play with it a lot and every time she does try to play with it she ends up rocking over uh, Maverick or just falling off of it. <laughs> So we just really don't need it. It's taking up space and I really need the spot where it was at, which was right here um, for her kitchen area. So we we're gonna donate that and upgrade to something a little bit better. I have two bins that need to go downstairs, which is this one and this one right here along with the Legos. But those have to go downstairs to the basement because they're toys that are just too advanced for Aubrey right now um, and obviously Maverick. So we're going to take those downstairs. And I'll show you inside of the closet. Now it is a mess. I'm going to say um, I, I really need to organize all their homeschooling stuff. As you can see, it is really, really bad. It's homeschooling stuff plus um, craft stuff. So it's just a bunch of random junk, basically. But I really need to organize all that. But I do know what's in here. And that's all that really matters to me. Because nobody ever sees in here, obviously. But... This is their homeschool and stuff. This is my little caddy of um, party supplies, Disney supplies, and just things like that. I have everything from Disney. I mean, it's all mixed up now, but because Aubrey got in here earlier. But for the most part, this is just baby shower stuff, party um, decor, things I'm going to use for their birthday parties, and all that. Baby showers that I'm planning for people. And then there's a few things from Disney or for our Disney trip in May. Um, in there so yeah that's what that is and then this is our closet and this is why I love this closet it is so deep I mean it's hard to even tell but it's the whole length of this wall um, ignore this bag this is all the balloons for parties and stuff but if you can tell all the way I can 
But if you can tell, I can put stuff all the way back there and it fits a lot of things. I had three bins stacked up right there. Pack of books, all of this stuff was in here. Uh, it was just piled really, really high. Uh, now I just have one box of books that are too advanced for Aubrey right now. This little car thing, she absolutely loves this, but I'm going to start putting it away for a week and then bringing it out for a week just so it's kind of a surprise. Um, just to add a little thrill in her life. And then all of this is Christmas gifts besides that ball. That's one of her balls I like to hide once in a while. Because it gets really annoying being hit in the head with a ball all the time. But, um, so these are all of her, her and Maverick's Christmas gifts. That goes with her kitchen. The other stuff goes with her baby. And the food goes with the kitchen. And then I have a rug that I'm going to put underneath the kitchen. Just to make it a little more cute, I guess. Um, it's a white kitchen so it'll match all this stuff. And then this thing right here is a tunnel. Um, she really loves this, but I figured to add to the excitement for Christmas, I'm going to pop it open for the playroom and just have it sitting in the middle of the floor um, for Maverick to play with while Aubrey plays with her new kitchen. Now to show you around the rest of the room, it's a disaster, so ignore that. I have still have a few things laying everywhere. Um, it's not completely organized yet and I really need to vacuum. But this is what we came up with. <laughs> I've emptied out all of these bins and cleaned or like you know went through them and so now most of them are halfway full or less this one looks full but that's just because it's got this big mat in it but everything is organized here now which I love I cleaned off this and I mean as you seen before this was packed full of stuff so now it's cleaned off just got movies just her extra little learning bead thing I don't even know what that's called but and then bubbles because we have bubble time every so often and then for stuffed animals um, a lot of these have meanings like this dog was my dog I got it when I was nine years old and I'm just obsessed with him he's flat now but I just stuffed him under there I don't want him to get messed up but at the same time I want the kids to have him so he's up here um, we have this little uh, what is this little sheep <laughs> that the kids got from Ireland um, and then all of Aubrey's little baby dolls and then these learning dogs the kids love these things so I got those and then this my mom got them it sings um what's it sing hello baby let's sing together do your ears hang low do they wobble to and fro <laughs> It's so cute. I love it. And then we have a Dumbo back there. This is what we got from Disney last year. So I just really think he's cute. I don't want to get mixed up. He is a collectible. So it's another one of those things I really shouldn't have in here. But whatever. It's up here where she can't reach him yet. Moving on. I did not go through this. This is just all their craft stuff and diapers and that kind of thing. Nothing really, nothing really to go through and get rid of in there. Their mini fridge. Um their nativity scene is right here food stuff and play-doh for some reason <laughs> and then i organized all this and i love this area now this is her disney animal world box she gets every month and it comes with new characters and new books let me pause this sorry so it comes with new um activities for her and then here's the elephant and snake just because we're running out of room in there <laughs> then she's got a few books I say Aubrey but or I say she but it's really for both kids just Aubrey's really the only one big enough to play with the stuff yet and this is just all of Aubrey's little people and little animals and then some blocks and <laughs> this is a log for her little animals and a ball for some reason so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it took me a really long time I've actually been working on this for three hours now um, obviously the video will not be three hours long, but it took me a very long time to go through all this stuff. And now I have to carry it all down the stairs, so I'm really not excited for that. This is the worst part about cleaning out the playroom. But I'm going to go ahead and get that done and go ahead and film another video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my um, Christmas decor video, which you already seen. It's going to be uploaded on December 1st. It's already uploaded now. I'll link that down below if you're interested. Uh, I'm doing decor for the kids area, the playroom, the bathroom, everywhere pretty much. So it's not crazy. It's like a, a kid-friendly Christmas decor video. So go check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!